So your adventurers walked away from the main storyline and are in the middle of unplanned nowhere. It happens to every DM. But what do you do when you need to put an area together for your party in a short amount of time? Well, you turn to generators, of course. Currently, we haven't found a full and comprehensive D&D town generator that covers everything that you need to make a town in one go. But with this guide, we'll get you everything you need from a few different sources in no time. From a town map to individual villagers, we'll get you all you need to make a town your party will think you spent hours creating. So what's in a town? A town in D&D can have a lot of different things, but it's best to focus on the points of interest for your adventurers. A town is generally a safe place to rest and get supplies, an area to start new quests, and a central hub for them to work on multiple adventure hooks. A good town will act as an anchor and keep your adventurers returning to it again and again. Most towns should contain the following. A tavern or inn, a blacksmith, leathersmith, or armorers and other crafting experts, a general store and various item shops, commoners, and a town watch or guard. That's a lot of things for you to populate. Thankfully, good D&D town generators working in conjunction with one another can take the legwork out of all these tasks. To populate them, we're going to need to construct the following. A town map and a town name, a list of villagers, names of establishments, store inventories, and basic quests for the town. Now that we know what we'll be creating, let's look at some specific town generators that will make this work really easy. There are a lot of great D&D map tools online, and a lot of them are free too. For our purposes today, we're going to look at one tool in particular that can help you make a usable town map as quickly as possible. Medieval Fantasy City Generator by Whatabout on itch.io. This map generator can build towns and cities of various sizes quickly and in your browser. At first glance, you might overlook this tool as being overly simple, but it's actually very powerful and can be used as a solid base for any town you plan on fleshing out more over time. To get the most out of the tool, you'll need to click on the various settings they have and adjust them to fit your particular needs. While the maps generated here are geometric in nature, they are highly functional. Each map has a set of town features, divides areas into functional districts, and can have geography options altered for your ideal area. When we fiddled with the settings a little bit, we were able to get this town map generated. As you can see, the map has all the notable features you need for a town, and we got the job done in minutes. While this isn't super fancy, you can always use this as a base and then jazz it up later with other D&D map tools or even Photoshop. Now that we have the basic map with its key features outlined, we'll need to populate it with stores, taverns, and other notable buildings. For this, we turn to a variety of sources, starting with one of our favorite tools, Donjon. Most adventuring parties immediately head for a tavern when they enter a town, and it's something you need to have ready with a bit more detail ahead of time. This is one of the things that Donjon does really well. Their tavern generator makes a full in with a single click. You get the name for the tavern, a description, patrons, and food dishes ready to go. If you're really interested in leaning into randomness, Donjon also provides rumors that you can use as quest plot hooks for the surrounding areas. Here's the output from us clicking it just one time. Now that we have an in all set up, you're going to need to get your town's shops up and running. The easiest way to stock and maintain these is to use a table. The tables from the Dungeon Master's Guide can be used for basic equipment, Roles can be used to decide stock, price, and availability. But why do all that work when you can have a computer calculate it for you? A fantastic individual by the name of GM Ballistic went ahead and created some amazing spreadsheets that are free to use and save. Their sheets for stores are amazing and can be rolled for your adventure and saved out as PDFs. You can find the full list of tables as a link in the description with instructions for use in the tab of the sheet. Here's an example of what we were able to generate for this sample town. When you need to flesh out a town's population, it can be daunting to get stats for all the villagers, let alone have good stats for the guards and random adventurers in town. To get all these quick and easy, you can look at Mythweaver's Town Generator. They not only get you important information about the population of a town, but they also help you create stat blocks for every NPC. It's almost a standalone NPC generator more than anything else. Alternatively, if you need a list of new NPCs on the fly, Donjon also has you covered. This is a bit easier to use and can be copied from quicker, but it will only make 10 at a time. 
That can be frustrating when you want to build a town of hundreds. So now you've got a map, you've got your shops, and you got your NPCs. Now you've got to tie everything together. While it would be nice to get everything generated and make this easy on yourself, creating a five or six sentence write-up on a city is a good exercise for your DMing skills. The write-up should be simple and include the following information. The town's name, the town's primary economic resource, and any notable environmental and visual features. Here's an example for the town we've crafted so far. The town of Grathnir is a small artisan community set alongside the Serpent River. It is bordered on one side by a dense conifer forest that offers good hunting and a great amount of natural resources, which the townsfolk use to make their skilled craft goods. The local guard is small in number, but actively patrol the wooden walls that surround the town. The buildings all share similar styles of plain wooden exteriors and more ornate wooden shingled roofs. The town center has an open market plaza bordered by two trade districts and Grathnir's only inn, the Foolish Harper. Not so bad, right? A little introduction for your adventurers can go a long way. Now, of course, you can make them far more elaborate if you like, or you can describe it in a completely different way, but it's a good idea to have a simple write-up created and put in place with all your other town materials so you can refer to it later. The most important thing you can do when creating a town like this is to get organized. There are a ton of quest generators online, but almost all of them are for much larger storylines than your town probably needs. If you're looking for some good plot hooks that you can expand on later, Donjon's quest generator is the way to go. But if you want to put in some simple money-making quests, we would highly recommend putting together a few hooks yourself for each of the main categories of quests. Fetch quests, gather herbs in the woods for the apothecary, or find the herdsman's lost goats. Escort quests, lead a hunter into the woods for a dangerous monster hunt, or escort a cart of trade goods out of town past bandit camps. Extermination quests, clear out the goblins in a nearby cave, or reduce the local wolf population. Each of these quests are simple and can be put in just about any town. We'd recommend giving quest-specific rewards, such as potions from the apothecary or rare ingredients from the monster hunt. Logical rewards help make your town feel real and make your player's actions have positive consequences. For any of these quests, you can roll some simple monsters from a random encounter table or pick specific enemies, such as bandits, from the back of the D&D manuals. With all these tools, you can get a town generated for your campaign in no time at all. If you really want to spend the time and go the extra mile, your next steps would be to create a more detailed map, add campaign-specific plot hooks, and start writing out NPC-specific stories to put in your town. If you're looking for even more generators, head on over to MasterTheDungeon.com to check out the ones we've found. If you're interested in building out your town more, watch our video on creating better D&D taverns. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share us with your D&D pals. Happy DMing!